Prime Minister is not worth the cost, and after eight years, this Prime Minister is no longer even listening to Canadians. A 23 percent carbon tax hike in the face of Canadians who can't afford to eat. Yesterday, this House passed a Conservative common sense motion calling on him to convene an emergency televised carbon tax meeting with all 14 premiers. The Prime Minister is hiding, but maybe someone over there can tell us what day will the televised carbon tax meeting be. The Honourable Government House Leader. Speaker, today we are debating Bill C-50, the Sustainable Jobs Act, which the Royal Bank of Canada says there are 400,000 of to come to Canadians if we were just to unlock the kind of prosperity envisaged in this very progressive piece of legislation. Instead, the Conservatives put forward 20,000 amendments generated by artificial intelligence. The Robocaucus needs to stop its robo-work with its robo amendments and stop gatekeeping the opportunities that are coming to Canadians. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. It's false, and that wasn't an answer. Canadians need relief and not more Liberal taxes. Seventy percent of Canadians are now saying so. One in ten people in Toronto are now relying on a food bank, and more than half of Canadians are $200 away from missing their bills. If they aren't going to listen to Canadians, if they aren't going to give us a date, perhaps the, uh, the member can tell us what channel will the carbon tax meeting be on. <laughs> The Honourable Government House Leader. Mr. Speaker, the channel they should be plugged in, I don't know what it is, but it is the reality channel, because back here in the real world, there are real jobs at stake, there are real opportunities at stake, there is affordability at stake, and these members, the Robo Caucus, with their Robo Amendments, in the way of opportunity and the way of progress and clean technology in this country, they need to get out of the way, stop the gatekeeping, let Canadians create the wealth that we yeah, need to yeah. succeed. The Honourable Member from Thornhill. Once again, he didn't answer the question, and I'm not really sure what that was, but if he won't listen to Canadians, and they won't listen to their NDP caucus, the Prime Minister won't listen to his successor, Mark Carney, who also wants him to meet with Premiers. They won't give us a date. They won't give us a time. They won't tell us what channel to watch. The Prime Minister won't even show up here and answer to this motion. The Prime Minister is being defiant when Canadians are lining up at food banks in record numbers. What are you covering for? The Honourable President of the Treasury Board. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister has repeatedly said he is all years. If there is a better plan, put it on the table. Premier Mo himself said this was the most cost effective plan, yes, and that's why our government will keep going with it while maintaining our AAA credit rating, while maintaining. 